Okay, I thought I'd just show you some of the junk I have over here on the shelf. Um, start with this here. This is a slapjack. Here's a piece of leather with a lead weight in there. You just whack people with it. Comes with a nice little carrying strap. Um, you can see this on my knife video, but there's my gherkin kakara, kakri. I just found it when I was moving stuff. Um, here's one of the knives I, I made. Um, this is years back and I tried my hand at knife making. This used to be a file, I think. Yeah, this used to be a file back here. I uh, can't remember how long ago this was made. Then I was younger. Look, here's a look at the size of the handle. I like my knives come at least to the handle, to the back of my hand. Um, then I got a little blade badge on it, but that's kind of crude. Um, here's a bomb standoff car I used to have in the military. Um, a lot of the stuff I just threw up here and left here. There's a business card for the ladies on for the embassy in Saudi. Here's a, um, a uh, voucher to get water. Use those overseas. Um, there's Sun Tzu. Here's my little blowgun. Um, mainly I shoot these darts. Right? Little stinger darts. These ones glow in the dark. Shoot that around the house. Has a fun. This is a training blasting cap. That's it, right? The little tube. And you can really hook these wires up to whatever you know, you're, you're doing. Um, this is a porcupine quill. I tried doing this video a while back and I dropped this and went to catch it. And that, that tip part cut into my hand. You can still kind of see the cut from it there, but this is the part in the porcupine, and that's the part that gets you, and it's sharp, trust me. Um, there's a ski ball from the old, from the ski ball rolling machine things. Here's a new old syringe. The old one's made of glass, this one's made of plastic, and it's pretty well stuck in there. I don't know if there's some I'm stuck in the tip here, I can't get air or what, but, um, these are some smoke bombs I have from about years, two or three years ago, I never let off. Um, Here's a nice paperweight. This is a paperweight, okay? It's a paperweight, nothing more. Um, I got my knives up here. I don't think there's any I didn't show you. Um, down here I got some rattlesnake eggs. You guys want to see them? Don't know where I showed you. Oh, it's still alive. Yeah. Got my can of presidential cigars. There he is right there. And this here is a Cuban cigar. It's a real Cuban. It's all nice and dry, so that's where it stays. Here's my stethoscope. I went through EMT training. I look all doctorly and stuff. Um, my little spite scope. Bought that just to be cool. It's not as powerful as everybody says they are. Here we go. Here's something cool for you. This is authentic. Okay, this is real. This is not fake. If you don't believe me, here I got my certificate of authenticity. 
Okay, this is a real piece of the Berlin Wall. This is not a chunk of some guy's con concrete walkway or porch or patio or not. This is an authentic piece of the Berlin Wall. It says what the paper says. Anyway, moving on. Here's a flask from the KGB. It does have the CCP market brush on there. I believe that's linen on the cover there. Brent gave me that. Um, okay, when I was in Saudi, I went on leave. I flew from Saudi to Kuwait, from Riyadh to Kuwait City. No. I think it was Doha, one of the two. But it was like an hour flight. They gave us a full meal on there with silverware. It's the silverware they gave us on a half hour flight and there's a little seal of Saudi Arabia on there. Okay. Flying from Kuwait to, you know, Shannon, Ireland, it was like a nine hour flight and they gave us, you know, like a, a piece of sandwich that big and half a Coke. Um, here you go. Here's this pretty cool. That's a Geiger counter. Um, here's the book I'm writing. Actually, I've already written it. I just need to put it in the computer and spice it up a little bit. Um, here's my rubber band gun. There's the ammo for it. That's that right back here. Here's the old swords they used to wear back in the day. Um, this is the MP school. Little crest there's the patch. Here's some money. The one dinar from Kuwait. A Rio from Saudi. A half dinar from Kuwait. A quarter dinar from Kuwait. It's a uh, ten real from Qatar. And this is a ten franc from Switzerland. Everybody's got prettier money in the United States. I do have some Iraqi money and some other money. If I can't find it, it's somewhere at my at my parents' house before I moved. Here is I'll show you two authentic and one fake. This is a real bottle made by Standard Bottling Company here in Michigan City. And it's, it's registered. This is an authentic Coke bottle. I don't know if when, but and it's got La Crosse, Wisconsin down there in the bottom. And this is a new bottle, but it's of the original model. This is a remake. Came out, just came out with them. I bought some. This is the original bottles of Coke when it first came out. That's what they look like. I'm not a Coke fanatic or nothing. I just think it's kind of cool. Um, got a whole bunch of coins in here. Um, I'll skip the American ones. Nothing too exciting in the going on in there. I'm not a, a uh, big coin collector, but I kind of sort of am, you know. I like to collect coins. But I'm gonna skip the Mexican and the Canadian since you'll see now probably. This is from Cuba. Little guy. Um That's a five franc from somewhere. So I'm dying place. Um I don't know if that's China, Korea, something. Um, there's a, a token from the Chicago Transit Authority. And I think I'm going to cut this short. So, I'll make another one showing you the rest of my final, my other stuff.